If you have a whole life insurance policy, does the company keep your cash value when you die? This is a common objection when it comes to whole life insurance as a reason why not to put money into the policy. So how I like to answer this question is on paper, yes. Whatever you see that your net death benefit is at the time of your death when you pass, that's the net dollar amount that will be paid out to your beneficiaries income tax-free. So on paper, whatever the death benefit is, that's paid to your beneficiaries. The cash value is gone. You could say the company keeps it. However, here's a very, very important piece. When you start a policy on day zero, before you pay anything into it, what do you have in cash value? Zero. What's your death benefit that you're about to start with? Let's pretend it's $100,000. As you pump money into the policy, what happens? the cash value grows, especially if it's set up for maximum cash value. Let's assume you fund it for 10 years and your cash value is now worth $100,000. If you go back to day zero, what was your death benefit worth? Do you remember? $100,000. At year 10, your cash value is now $100,000. What's your death benefit? It's not $100,000 anymore. Now it's $300,000. What has happened is as you've pumped money into the cash value, the death benefit has appreciated. So if you die 10 years from now, a $300,000 net death benefit is paid out to your beneficiaries and that 100K that you built up, that's gone. But did you win, win or lose in that scenario? You left more death benefit than what you initially had. So what you'll see is that the cash value and death benefit grow together. Now, the example that I just mentioned was meant to be very, very simple. It is always, always going to depend, to depend on your age and when you are starting your policy. We've got several videos that demonstrate specific case studies for individuals starting at different ages. But what I would look at really is an illustration that shows you paying in the dollar amount you're planning on paying in. Look at your death benefit on day one or year one, and then see what it looks like 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road. It's going to be much higher than the cash value. So as your cash value grows, your death benefit grows with it, and the total death benefit or the net death benefit, that amount on paper that is paid to your beneficiaries, that accounts for the cash value growth. So I hope this helps. I hope it made sense. We'll see you soon.